Yeah, the highlights we have heard. Um, I'm coming just from the from the second uh, plenary session. So the the first two uh, late breaking abstracts, the EB Pembro versus uh, uh, chemotherapy, uh, was presented, and the second trial was the combination of uh, chemotherapy and immunotherapy versus the standard chemotherapy in patients who were platinum eligible, and both trials showing improvement in overall survival. So the difference of the trials is that one was including patients who were fit and unfit, the EB Pembro, uh, compared to patients receiving carboplatin or cisplatinum gemcitabine, showing this substantial, this like uh, um, uh, outstanding improvement in survival. It was 18 months versus 31 months. Uh, in the in the nivolumab platinum gemcitabine, it's restricted to patients that uh, are fit for platinum therapy. In, it's a, a subgroup analysis of a bigger trial, uh, exploring the combination of ipinibo also in unfit patients. In this subgroup of patients, comparing cisplatinum gemcitabine plus nivolumab versus cisplatinum gemcitabine, there was an improvement in survival, but the median survival was only 21 months. Then when we compare that to the median survival obtained with uh, EB Pembro in a unselected Mm, platinum eligibility, meaning cisplatinum or carboplatinum, that's, um, yeah, uh, even the discussion, Andrea, Andrea Polo said, well, in fact, EB Pembro is the, the new standard of care in first line metastatic black cancer patients. Now, a lot of questions are coming up. So, what's going to be next? And here, uh, we presented yesterday the results of the of the DAT trial. I was a senior, Dr. McGregor was the first author presenting these results. The DAT trial stands for double antibody drug conjugate. We have been like reporting the results of this phase one trial where infortumab bedotin and satitutumab gobitecan have been combined. We have shown in, in this uh, phase one study that in patients that are in third line, or second or third line uh, setting, uh, we can give close to the full dose of uh, EB, uh, infortumab bedotin and satitutumab gobitecan. So the recommended um, phase two dose level has been Full dose of infortumab bedotin, 1.25 uh, milligrams per kilogram. For SG has been like a bit lower, 8 milligrams per kilogram. But the response rate of this combination is so exciting. 70% 70 uh, overall response rate. What does it mean? If Pembro EV is the new standard and we are able to combine EB with uh, SG, likely the next step is going to be what we are calling now the that dadio, so that means the dad plus immunotherapy, and this is a project that uh, at the Farber we are working with, just trying to create data. Obviously, we will need to generate safety data, but maybe the future is going to be triple therapy, as we have seen also in in other diseases like uh, lung cancer or or kidney cancer. So now we are expanding this uh, this double antibody drug conjugate. Um, obviously, uh, it's it's safe, can be given um, with uh, GCSF. Um, more patients are going to be included just to expand the results. And then the next, the next step is going to be test this, that combination, double, do, uh, double antibody drug conjugate, uh, enfortumab bedotin, satitutumab gobitecan with pembrolizumab. So maybe the future is going to be triple therapy for a metastatic bladder cancer.